Hi guys, what's up? This is Magnus from Drum Inspiration and in this video I will explain the polyrhythm 4 over 3 and 3 over 4. And if you haven't heard about this, I hope you will have some more knowledge about this and understand it more after this video. And if you already know this, maybe I can give you some tip to get more comfortable doing this. So, what is this? First of all, uh, the polyrhythm 4 against 3, 3 against 4. It sounds like this. Uh, 1, 2, 3. Alright, so there are two different rhythms going uh, against each other and with my left hand I play uh, three hits, one, two, three, one, two, three, and with my right hand I play four over that. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Uh, and if I go a bit deeper and uh, more theoretically what's going on, uh, in beat one both hands are playing together. So far so good. And then in the last 16 notes in the first beat I play the right hand again. So then on beat 2 the left hand plays. And then on 2 and the right hand comes again. So from the beginning 1, 2 and. And then on 3 the left hand plays again. And then on the second 16 in beat 3 the right hand plays again. So from the beginning 1, 2 two and three. One, two and three. One, two, three. One, two. Okay. Cool. I hope you find that useful and you know what I'm talking about. Um, now, to be able to call this a polyrhythm, you also have to understand that there are also two different pulses going on at the same time. So you have this three thing pulse. One, two and three. And over that we play this one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. And to be able to get your brain to understand that, um, a good thing is to to play these together. And while playing those, you count what each limb is doing. This is kind of tricky in the beginning, but if you practice, well, practice makes sense, you know. So finally you will be able to do this. Um, and I will try to show what I mean. Uh, something like this. One, two, three. So we start to count what the left hand is doing. One, two, three. One, two, three. So my brain isolates what the left hand is doing now. One, two, three. One. So let's go to the right hand. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. So when you can do that, you're on the way to get your brain to understand that there are two different pulses happening. And to get more comfortable doing this, you can do an exercise where you play uh, two bars of and uh, counting out what each limb is doing for two bars. Something like this. One, two, three. One, two, three, two, two, three. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, one. All right. And when you can do that, you can maybe change every other bar. <clears throat> one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay. So now you're maybe ready to go to the next step, and that is to sit behind the kit and play these two different pulses, you know, so you start playing them together <clears throat> and then uh, so what I did on my Instagram account and that's why I did this video is I played this on my drum kit so welcome to check out my Instagram account you find me at drum inspiration there uh, and I started playing uh, with this three thing going on and then I changed to what the four thing is doing and I played the groove over that and then I changed back to the three thing and vice versa. This is kind of cool to do and fun and uh, pretty tricky for your brain but it's fun. So a good way to practice this is this. Uh, you start playing those two rhythms together and then you take uh, one hand away so you only have 
one of the pulses going on and then you play over that and then you take the other pulse back again into playing and let that one take over and then you play over that for a while play the groove fills etc and then you go back to the first pulse and vice versa and uh, to learn this this is a good way I will uh, give you a demonstration here uh, one two three So now both pulses are going on and it's difficult to focus on one, <clears throat> but then if I take one away, let's take the right hand away, now the brain knows alright, so this is the pulse going on. So then I can play over this, one, two, three, and play groove with three and fills whatever you want to do. And then you take the right hand back, the fourth thing again. Now both are together, and then you let the fourth thing take over. So now the brain focus on this pulse. <clears throat> and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then you can play groove over this, and some fails, or soling, and whatever. And when you're done doing that, you take the three thing back. Now we have both pulses going on at the same time. Yeah, okay. So, um, I hope you think this makes some sense and I hope you will learn some stuff and uh, maybe have some exercises to work on. Uh, there are of course uh, other polyrhythms also, uh, this is nothing that I came up with, this has been around for years and years and years, uh, this thing. Um, uh, but there are also other, uh, for example 5 over 2, which I think is uh, really really cool and maybe if I find that you like this video I will maybe go through 5 minutes 2 in the next video. So find me at Instagram, um, at Drum Inspiration is my name there, and uh, welcome to su subscribe here on YouTube, and uh, good luck with this and have fun. Alright, see you, bye bye.